So after my last video, I've just now had so many comments talking about blocking streaming applications, but on the Android TV, Google TV platform, as you can see on the screen here, we have Shirley saying that I've been using the on streamer for quite some time. And now those two applications are being blocked. We have Leo saying this is also happening on his Onbox. Another comment saying that he saw a Reddit post about Android TV, also now warning about third party applications, including the on 4K streaming box. So you can definitely see guys, there is some concern out there because people are definitely worried with some of the stuff they've seen on the Amazon devices. Is this now going to filter over to Android TV or Google TV devices? Well, we can see on my on 4K Pro, let's test this in real time. I can open up Downloader. Let's just do a quick test and see what happens if I try to install this application here. Let's give that a second. Do you want to install it? Let's say yes. And then we see this message here. So I think people are now worried when they see a message like this because this is telling them that this application is fake. It tries to take over your device or steal your data. Now, as we've seen over the last few days, there is actually some truth in that because this application or certain versions of this application have been known to use your internet connection and use the resources on your device. So now you can see here, you can click on got it, which just terminates the install. But if you do that again, let me show you another option you can select if you don't care about the warning. So you can see if I click on more details and here we can see the option install anyway. So this is basically allowing you that you don't care about the risks. Maybe there are false positives. We know in this case, they're probably not, but maybe there are other applications out there, especially modded applications. They do sometimes give false positives, but if you know they're safe, you can actually click on install anyway. Let's do that now. Just to confirm that if you really wanted to on the Android TV devices, you can actually install these applications. And this is something, unfortunately, that we just don't have access to on the Amazon devices because we have no ability to actually click on continue. So as soon as Amazon detect this application is on your device, it blocks it, it actually marks it as disabled, and you can, from that point forward, no longer run it on your device. The only option you have is to uninstall it. Whereas on the Android TV and the Google TV operating system, you do have that little bit more control. And reality, guys, if I've paid for the device myself, then surely the only person that can decide if something is good for me or not should be me. How can somebody else tell me that this application is not good for you? You're not allowed to run it. And that way, as you can see why Android TV is definitely more flexible, whereas with Amazon, they really control exactly what you can do on that device. The only issue is when your device does do that scan again, it will automatically remove these applications. And all it does is just do a quick scan. And if it thinks that this application is not safe, it will unfortunately automatically uninstall it for you. So how can you stop that? Well, the great thing is on these Android TV devices, you can actually turn off Play Protect. Now, you do have to be cautious with that because maybe in certain scenarios, you would want to know if a certain application does contain malware, always problematic. So if you do turn this off, all of those warnings will be removed from your device. Now, depending on your particular use case, you may want to do that. So if that is your use case, this is how you turn it off. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, stay safe online, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, protect your privacy, you definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. Well, the first thing you want to do is open up the Play Store. I can just use my voice and say, open Play Store. Now, when you're inside the Play Store, if you go over to your profile on the top right, let's click on that. And you can now see you have Play Protect. So this is basically the mechanism that Google have now added on all the devices, which does that scan for you. So again, if you think you don't want that scan and you want to be in complete control of your device, you can go to the right. You can press select button here. So do you want to turn off app scanning? Let's click on turn off. And from this point forward now, no application on your device will ever be automatically removed. And I will just say one more time, you do have to be cautious, especially if you are regularly sideloading applications, maybe from other websites or from other unknown repositories. It is always worthwhile double checking, maybe doing a separate virus scan or a malware scan before you install it onto your device. OK, now that we've disabled that, I can now press the home key. Let's try to install one more time. Uh, let's try a different one. Click on install. And this time, because we've disabled Play Protect, 
I'm hoping this will just install completely without, and we can see it's done exactly that. So Play Protect is now disabled on my device, and I can now go ahead and install any streaming application that I like. Now, before I open up this application, let me just activate my VPN, which I do highly recommend, especially when you are using these kind of applications, it is critical to use a VPN. So I'm gonna turn mine on. I'm now connected, I can now back out of this. If I try one of these applications, give it a second, and in a few clicks, I can now go ahead and access all of the content in here without any warnings, any pop-ups. Now we know on the Amazon devices, the fix was basically to find older versions of that app. So if you particularly want to use these applications, which are now on the blacklist, the only real fix is to use older versions, which didn't contain that particular malware. Personally, there's just so many options out there. So many of these third-party streaming applications to avoid any kind of malware on my device. I would just not install those ones. I would use other options. There are many options out there. I will leave a link in the pinned comment on how you can get the best streaming applications, which are all virus free and malware free. Again, the thing I would remind you all that you should always be using a VPN when accessing this kind of content, because when you activate your VPN, you're now no longer using your own IP address. You're using the IP address provided from your VPN service provider. And with this IP address, you can protect yourself. You can access geolocked content and really just unlock the world of streaming. Right now, there's a super special offer for the VPN I personally use where you can get total protection for all of your devices, all of your applications, your add-ons, your APKs, your streaming apps. All of them can be covered with the VPN and they also give you unlimited connections. What that means is it doesn't matter if you've got three Fire Sticks, 10 Android TVs, two laptops, all of those devices, unlimited devices, will be covered with a single license. You get blazing fast speeds, so zero buffering, and they also have a verified no logs policy. So they're not logging anything, they're not monitoring anything. You really can stay anonymous whilst using this VPN. You can access all of your favorite applications, your Netflixes, your BBC iPlayers, your Hulus. All of your streaming applications can be unlocked by using this VPN. And to get all of that for just over $2 a month, I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel, so many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.